50th. 50th Cherry Blossom Festival already in New Haven. Yeah, the celebration is actually on Sunday, but to give us a preview of what's going on there today is meteorologist Jill Gillardi. Certainly looks very pretty out there. Good, good afternoon, Jill. Good afternoon. Yeah, it is absolutely gorgeous looking and sounding. The birds are happy. People are out here. You know, they have their dogs or their family members meeting up with Grammy and Grandpa. I mean, it is just a fantastic event that's going to be happening this weekend. We're talking about, again, the Worcester Square Cherry Blossom Committee. They're, they're absolutely delighted. They're going to be hosting a special celebration this year honoring the 50th anniversary of these amazing trees. And this is in the Worcester Square Park. Each year, the cherry blossom trees, you know, they bloom at different times and it's really based on what the weather does in late winter into early spring. Now the committee always tries to time it out perfectly with Mother Nature and uh, they did a fantastic job and Mother Nature seems to be cooperating this year. The goal is for the people to come out here and enjoy the beautiful you know park, the blossoms and all the other fun things planned for Sunday. There's going to be local artists here, live bands, over 15 food carts and trucks and of course the beautiful scenery to enjoy and if you'd like more information So you can visit historicworcestersquare.org for parking recommendations, for a full lineup if you have questions about the day. Um, just bring a camping chair or a blanket and just get ready to have a really, really good time. Well, unlike today, it's not going to be in the, you know, upper 80s, but it will be in the low 60s. The weather is looking good for the, uh, you know, the festival going on here. Maybe mostly cloudy. The rain should be out of here by the time, again, the festival begins. It's from 12 to 430 at Worcester Square Park here in New Haven. Reporting live, I'm meteorologist Jill Gillardi, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.